Hi there. Now, in this question, we're given that in an arithmetic series, the sum of the fifth to eighth terms inclusive is 114, and the sum of the twelfth to fifteenth terms is 198. And we're asked, what is the 21st term? So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, do fast forward if you want to just see the final solution. Otherwise, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So, in order to do this, first of all, what I'm going to look at is just listing out the first eight terms in this series. And in order to form an equation, some relationship, what I know is that if, if the sum of the terms from 5 to 8 inclusive comes to 114, then if I do the sum of the first 8 minus the sum of the first 4, and I do stress the first 4, you've got to be careful there, that will come to 114. And I can do much the same kind of thing with the 12th to 15th terms. I can say the sum of the first 15 terms minus the sum of the first 11 terms must come to 198. And I'm going to form then two simultaneous equations. Solve for the first term A and the common difference D. Then I should be in a good position to get the 21st term. So that's the method I'm going to adopt, okay? If you were stuck, you might want to pause the video at this stage and then carry on. But going back then to what I said, first equation then is going to be that S8, the sum of the first eight terms, minus the sum of the first four terms, is going to come to 114. And remembering that the sum of the first n terms is given by n over 2, all multiplied with twice the first term, 2a plus n minus 1 times d, then we can build on this equation. So what we've got then is that therefore s8 will be 8 over 2, which is going to be 4, multiplied by twice the first term. Well, we don't know the first term, so it's just going to have to be 2a, plus n minus 1, n is 8, so that's going to be 7 times d, so plus 7d. And then we've got minus the sum of the first four terms, so that'd be 4 over 2, which is 2, times twice the first term, 2a, plus n minus 1d. n is 4, so if we subtract 1, that's going to be 3, times d, and that equals 114. And if I expand the bracket, we therefore have 8a plus 28d, and then we've got minus 4a, and then minus 6d, and that's going to equal 114. Cleaning this up, 8a minus 4a is going to be 4a, and then we've got 28d minus 6d, which is going to be plus 22d, and that's going to equal 114. And I can see that I could divide through by 2 here, so let's slim this down. Dividing each term by 2 gives me 2a plus 11d equals 57. And I'm going to return to this equation later, so uh, let's just number it 1. Now we just build up another equation from this statement here. So let's just put also we know that the sum of the first 15 terms minus the sum of the first 11 terms must total 198. And again using this formula here we've got therefore S of 15 will be 15 over 2, 15 divided by 2 there, multiplied by twice the first term, 2a plus n minus 1d, so that's going to be 14d. And then we subtract from that the sum of the first 11 terms, which will be 11 over 2, multiplied by 
twice the first term, 2a plus n minus 1, so that'd be 11 minus 1, which is 10, times d. And that equals 198. So we need to tidy this equation up. And so if I expand it out, I therefore have 15 times 2a over 2, which is just going to give me 15a. Those 2's cancel. And then if I divide 2 into 14, that's going to be 7. 15 times 7 is going to be 105. So we've got plus 105d. And then for this one, the 2's cancel here, so we're just left with minus 11a. And then 2 into 10 is 5, 11 5 is 55, so you get minus 55d, and that equals 198. Grouping the terms together, 15a minus 11a is 4a, and then you've got 105d minus 55d is plus 50d, and that's going to equal the 198. And again, I can divide through by 2 here, which is really useful. So we get 2a plus 25d equals 99. And this is my second simultaneous equation, so I'll just number it 2. And we've got 2a at both the start of each of these equations, so I can easily eliminate that. Uh, by doing, say, equation 2 minus equation 1, okay? 2 minus 1 gives us, well, what does it give us? We've got uh, two a's cancel, and you've got 25d minus 11d here, so that's going to be 14d. And you've got 99 minus the 57, which is 42. And if I divide both sides by 14, d would equal 42 divided by 14, which is 3. So we've got the common difference. Now we just need to get the first term. And obviously I can substitute d equals 3 into any one of my equations. I think I'll go into equation 1, though. If we do that, we're going to get 2a then plus 11 times 3, which is 33. So 2a plus 11 times d, 11 times 3 is 33, and that will equal the 57. Subtract 33 from both sides, therefore 2a equals 57 take 33, which is 24. Divide both sides by 2, and that leaves us a equals 24 divided by 2, which is 12. So, I'm in a good position now, now that I've got d and a, to get the 20 first term okay so what is the 21st term so therefore the 21st term equals and remember any term nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1d so it's going to be a which is 12 plus n minus 1 so 21 minus 1 is 20 times the common difference d which is 3 so we've got 60 here plus another 12, so it's going to be 72. OK, well, that brings us to the end of this question. Thanks for listening. Hope you got it right. And uh, if not, you're able to see where you may have gone wrong.